So, Tom, your Vitzer, winners of the first ever Summer Spine Challenge in North. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems a ridiculous question because I can see the smiles on your faces now, but uh, how, Tom, how are you feeling about this right now? Awesome. Uh, yeah, no, phenomenal event. And yeah, couldn't be happy with the result, obviously. So, yeah. And Yuvitsa, you must be pleased. This is your redemption story. Yes, but like we talked earlier, it's like um, redemption, but without ego. You know, uh, just to be here and embrace the nature again and to have opportunity to represent my country. It's a huge honor, privilege and blast for me. I, I want you to be careful here, Yvitsa, because you've already almost made me cry once. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel this coming again. Um, now, Tom, Yvitsa has obviously been through this before. Mm -hmm. You said this earlier, is, this is the furthest distance you've done. Yep. Yeah, this yeah. is your first time on the Pennine Way. Yep. Well, it, did you have it planned that you would be this far at the pack? Nope, nope. It's, it's my first win of, of any running event. Um, yeah, yeah. First time on the podium, so so it's it's taken me by surprise. Um, where did you expect to be, and yeah, it went yeah, yeah. so well? Yeah, you yeah, ended yeah. up where you are. Um, I think I came into it with an open mind. I, I, I've never been through two nights before, so that was going to be the big takeaway, and kind of came into it thinking. I'm going to learn what I can um, and, and do what I can to sort of have a good day or days. Um, and yeah, all, all came together. So it absolutely did. Yeah. And obviously, Yvitsa, summer and winter are different races, very different, yeah. but still very, very tough. What, yeah. what had you changed between January and now? Yeah, I must be honest, like always. Uh, I must say that I'm a little bit overestimated winter edition of Summer Spine, Challenger North. This time I didn't make the same mistake. Uh, this race is beautiful in one uh, direction, but in another direction it's really challenging, demanding, like you can expect everything that Mother Nature could potentially throw it on a protagonist of this epic story. So. Uh, it's not marketing, it's real deal and finishing this race mm -hmm. is huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So I have huge hope that everyone who is still in the field will finish, he will be here in uh, mm -hmm. some time and I will be here to host them. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, we're mm -hmm. going to be so happy to have you here as they come in as well. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to focus when you talk about the spine race on how tough and bleak and difficult yeah. it is. But what what did you enjoy out there? What was good about the race? I think the the peak for me was coming over the Cheviots this morning, because in a way it should have been the toughest, and it it, it was in a lot of ways. I think for both of us, but the sunrise was perfect not a cloud in the sky a couple down in the valleys and um yeah seeing the sun sort of begin to light up the sky orange with the cheviots kind of silhouetted was was pretty special so, yeah that was a good moment same question to you it's it. same story cheviots mm. are mm. beautiful mm. beautiful place but still uh, i must say something to you like the nature is beautiful landscapes everything but this race it's all about you guys and mm. community and that's something that makes a huge difference trust me i run all over the globe and mm. the crowd and supporters mm. and uh, race director race organizer everyone this is another dimension I, I knew you were going to make me well up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a truth. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's, a, it's a, that's lovely for us to hear, but, you know, to focus back in on you guys, mm. um, it's been brilliant watching you pair up and run mm. together. And I saw you very briefly yesterday on Hadrian's Wall, mm. and you were together then. But we're never sure. Will they Will they make a break for it? Will somebody <laughs> sprint? But I just had a feeling you guys were going to stick together and you have. So yeah. what happened there? When did you pair up and why? Yeah. So basically during the yesterday, we have like really challenging weather conditions. The first night was like uh, a lot of rain, uh, fog, uh, 
everything was uh, wet, you, you know, and yesterday was hot and humid. So that <clears throat> area is exposed and really dangerous. Mm. So we figure it out if we stick together, mm. it's really good to, to be like that because if something happened to Tom or me, we could help each other. Mm. And that was initially, but after some, after a few minutes, we mm. clicked and we start just to run without any specific reason and story behind or expectation. Mm. And eventually, you know, like, uh, we figure it out that we are similar in, um, like mindset for this race and technique and mm. uh, way of thinking, a lot of similarities. And I'm so blessed and honored to share this journey with Tom. <laughs> well, top that, Tom. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, pass. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, fully, fully agree. And I think, um, I, only done a handful of races i definitely don't have your your resume for for that but um yeah to, to, i've never run any significant distance with with another competitor before and it was a, a completely different experience really valuable um i think going back to the sort of logic of why we paired up in the first place as well was um something we discussed as we're running running down earlier was um we could have raced each other and inevitably one of us would have won but we almost certainly would have got a. It would have taken us longer to to cross the line. The, the winner would have crossed the line in a longer time than, than the two of us working together. So I think I think that's that's we both agreed was, was was the case. And as you say, we, we sort of clicked. And I don't I don't think we ever actually formally agreed that we would definitely be finishing together. But I exactly. sort of didn't didn't yeah. doubt it from the first ten minutes of, of running with you. So yeah. yeah. But no, I'm glad to hear that. Mm. We felt the same way. Mm. You know? Yeah. Obviously uh, on Facebook we're not certain, so we, yeah. we put it yeah. out there. Maybe who knows, maybe <laughs> they'll race, but I, I never thought you would. You you just you seemed in sync. Yeah. yeah. That's absolutely wonderful. We yeah. we love to see these friendships form out on the course. And you can you can just imagine how it it was so interesting and so intensive uh, during the last night. You know, like when we make that strategy. You know, like in one point I was in front, in second point, uh, second um, second hour Tom was in front, and it was like so synchronized. You know, mm -hmm. so um, in a good flow, mm -hmm. in a good rhythm. So it was like magical night for each other, mm -hmm. and we enjoy running talking about some experience and mm -hmm. about life and mm -hmm. because ultra running isn't just about performance it's mm -hmm. about life it's about community it's about our vision ideas mm -hmm. and other stuff i'm working together absolutely yeah. well thank you both of you for absolutely typifying what is <laughs> amazing about ultra running and what we all love so much about this race and congratulations once again. That was an absolutely incredible performance from both of you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Cheers.